Hey guys, welcome back to H and A Reactions. This your girl Angel, and I'm back with another video. Um, today I'll be doing a video about um, by Low by Erica Damien once a DNA test. Um, I watch them a lot, so you know I'm just really I just really feel like I need to give y'all some content because I'm always working and when I get off of work I really don't be wanting to do anything because I didn't work myself at work. I haven't did this in so long. Y'all really got to just get back used to doing this. Giving y'all the energy that y'all want. Because I feel like I'm fresh. <laughs> but um, yeah, we're going to get to the video. hey guys welcome back to my channel before i start this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe and make sure you have your bell turned on so that you'll be notified every time i drop another video also guys make sure you click the link in the description down below and follow me on all my social media accounts guys i am so tired it is what well, almost 10 at night and i literally just came from the studio i've been putting in a lot a lot a lot of hours into the studio y'all i've been meeting great people like i cannot show y'all what god is doing in my life okay i now understand patience really is a virtue i finally got my nails done i got them short too because like when they i want to stop this to say that i'm so happy for erica she's been through a lot and i basically have been watching her um as she's been going through all these you know these um situations and she's finally starting to blossom into who god really wants her to be sometimes you know people look at it as oh she this and she that but everything is already everything is already written down way before we even go through stuff so you know even though it feel like it was a mistake whatever god already had this already planned out way before we she even got to you know went through it so it's just a part of the you know one of the phases she had to go through in order to get to her sunshine you know in order for her to blossom out you and i think it's because um i always heard you go through everything for a reason sometimes i just feel like in order for you to appreciate the things you have in order for you to be grateful for the things you have you have to go through stuff so you can know how it feels to go through um things and not to have something or someone in your life and i just feel like that's what's going on with her but anyways i'm gonna get back to the video long like that they be breaking off i wanted to give you guys something i'm doing my little jack-in-the-box night run as well before i get in the house y'all know like i love the little fajita pita things um uh, from jack-in-the-box so yeah so i decided to do this video i'm pretty sure that you guys already knew it was coming right but um before i even get into like addressing any thing that has been said or talked about like i want you guys to understand that um me and damien we already had our conversation off of camera um today actually so i didn't get a chance to talk to him last night cause like i said i've been putting in some really 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 um like long hours in the studio and stuff like that and so by the time i get home i'm like exhausted which is why i didn't upload last night and I was supposed to have spent time with the boys last night, but that didn't happen. So, yeah. Let me reiterate that um, me and Damien, we did talk off of camera and stuff like that. But the only reason why I'm doing this video is because I, I do kind of feel like um, I do owe you guys something. You know, because my life has been a whole mystery, you know. Or whatever you want to call it and so um some of the stuff i brought on myself some of the stuff i didn't bring on myself 
you know we i feel like everybody kind of maneuver through life like oh this is my plan a woo, 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 woo. and some of us don't even really be expecting like a plan b so um Okay, so what she just said, um, you, she felt like you always supposed to have a plan B, but sometimes I'm like, you know, we just do things. We don't have a plan B. We just moving in the moment, if you get what I'm trying to say. So, you know, like I say, everything is already planned out. You go through everything for a reason. Um, apparently this situation right here was a lesson and we all have to go through lessons if you say that you never been through something even though you may not have went through what she went through but if you say you have, haven't been through something and you haven't had to learn a lesson in order to do better in life that's you telling the story because everybody go through things because if not you won't really know how to be grateful with the things that you have a lot of us a lot of you guys, before y'all did YouTube, y'all was working nine to five, living from paycheck to paycheck. So now, since you want, you know, you're getting your money is up there and stuff. You know how I feel to not have money. You know how I feel to not be able to eat the fruits that you want to eat or buy the things that you know you, that you need. So you're grateful. You know, you're not out here flashing and trying to act like you just always had this kind of money like you was born inside a rich family so you you know you humble because you know what it what it feels like not to have it so you know like i said it's a, it's a part of the process it's a part of the process as long as you um keep your head you know stay strong keep your head up you gonna make it through the process right now it seems like she's her um bad times is ending and she's blossom she's blossoming into who God really want her, wants her to be. So I like it. I hope this man is not coming over here. Let me get my video done, please. <laughs> but uh yeah, so some of us don't really be even like expecting a plan B, but <sighs> life happens and if it hasn't happened to you yet, it's gonna happen. So you're gonna eventually end up with a plan b it, it can either be, be forced on you or it could just be something that you decide to do um if your plan a doesn't work out so um i'm not gonna spend too too long on this video because guys like i'm not gonna lie i'm starving and it's late and i'm tired i'm ready to like take a shower and prop my feet up and relax and get ready for tomorrow because like y'all so much has been happening like good things of course and just been boom 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 and like blessings have just been raining down on me and so um so yeah i, I do want to say this though i will be doing a dna test with damien on camera for you guys to see I know some of y'all like you don't owe us any explanation whatever 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 but i feel like kind of in this situation i feel like i kind of do only to my loyal supporters like if you don't support me if you don't support damien then we don't owe you anything we will be doing a dna test for you guys on camera if not this week next week and if not next week it'll be like it'll be soon like we're not gonna prolong the process and so let me reiterate something because i'm not the type of woman that be hopping from bed to bed especially at the same time because that's nasty and i know like a lot of times every time somebody say something like it can be plain as day stuff always get twisted or whatever which is why after this situation is over like you guys will not really get a peek into my personal life like that like if i'm doing a vlog or something at home like a cooking video or something like that that's different but like just like letting y'all in my business like that that's that's never gonna happen again at, like i said after this whole situation is done and over with you got whatever you guys see on camera in vlogs pranks or whatever else that's what you guys are gonna get because not only do i have to protect me but i have to, i have to protect my kids by any means necessary and some of y'all like y'all don't know how to just keep it to where y'all just talking about the adults i gotta agree with her with that 
I understand exactly where she's coming from because even when I'm watching YouTube and I'm going through comments, I see where people just don't know how to, if you have something to say about her, you know, leave it strictly on her. The whole bring the kids into it because kids is innocent. You know, whatever the situation is going on, they don't have nothing to do with it. So, you know, I just, I'm with her. You can't put everything on, you know, the internet. Everything is not meant for the internet. Because people want, you know, always make stuff into something way bigger than what it really is. So, honey, I'm with you. Y'all want to start talking about kids. <laughs> like all of that stuff and i can't i can't have that because my kids are going to get protected by any means necessary and i don't even, i feel like if you if you come in at an adult then just leave it like you attacking an adult talk about my forehead my teeth my wigs whatever but then when you cross lines and talk about a child then that's she right that's one reason why i won't put my kids on the internet because I'm not the type of person that just ignore people. I might ignore you when it comes to myself. You can say whatever you want to say about me. But when it comes to my kids, it's a whole nother. That's you taking it way too far. That's why I won't put my kids on the internet. Because people just want to be internet gangsters all the time. And, you know, it just leads up to other things. And everybody not, you know, the type to just sit back and just let you just talk and disrespect their family. So... Y'all, you know, y'all always hear me talk about I got kids. Y'all never going to see them. Y'all not going to see them because y'all, you know what? I probably did do a video um, for Christmas or something. I think I did a video. Did we do a video? I think we did. But anyways, yeah, y'all won't. That's probably the first and the only video y'all going to see until they get old enough or until I feel like, you know, just leap out on face because they do want to make their own um, channel and stuff. But I'm just hesitant on it because it's, you know, it's so many internet gangsters out here. People that just want to troll, but it, you know, they just straight disrespectful with the trolling. So. That's just wrong because a child can't defend themselves. You know what I'm saying? So anyway. Like Damien said, and I will say it again, and I don't care who twists, whatever. While we were in a relationship with other individuals, we did not mess around with each other. However, when I decided to leave Damien, two weeks later was when I had rushed out to an individual about helping me find a house. And so, it was like everything was happening fast. Boom, 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 boom. No, I did not sleep with the other individual. at all however um when i did go to the doctor they asked me when was my last cycle and i told them a, a date that i thought so a lot of times the doctors can only go off of what you tell them which is why dion came a month early because they can only go off of what you told them now that i am like like at the end i'm realizing that the date that i thought was not the date and that's not necessarily a bad thing it does not make me a whore it does not make me a slut it does not indicate that i was sleeping with two people at the same time it just means that the dates don't add up so and that's you know that's true um because with my first my first son that they, that what I told the, um, what I told the OBGYN, um, they can only go off of what you tell them. But from looking at the ultrasound, I was more, um, I was more further along than I actually thought I was. So she's right. And the whole situation about her sleeping around. I don't, you know, like she said, it's, 
it doesn't mean that she slept with both of them at the same time. And even even so, you know, uh, y'all be on this internet. I be reading these comments and y'all just be trolling and being real disrespectful. And then half of y'all sleeping around with two, three guys. And it y'all talking about, oh, he paying me just to make it. It still don't make it right. So even if that was the case, you know. She grown. She can do what she want to do. There is a strong possibility that my son may belong to Damien. And so, since I'm not able to do a DNA test elsewhere, Damien is going to volunteer to do the DNA test. So, you guys will get a chance to see firsthand or whatever and like I said after this I won't be addressing anything and um which is why I haven't mentioned the other individual's name since December and you guys will probably never hear me mention the other individual's name ever <laughs> regardless of what the outcome is and that's just the God honest truth but um yeah so I'm not gonna lie to y'all um, I am really excited knowing that it is leaning more towards Damien because um, I feel like we are a family. I feel like we both misunderstood each other. I feel like this is one of those testimonies where I can say, Ooh, child, if you knew who that man was when I first met him, and I can see that he is a changed person. Like, I know a lot of people always feel like, oh, everything is for views and stuff like that. But y'all do know that he can go and get views if he do videos with his son. He can go get views if he do uh, videos by himself. Like, he doesn't necessarily need me to do videos to get views. It's all about, like, the content and what people want to see. So... That's not an indication to me that I'm being used. And we don't have a camera rolling 24 seven. So um, I'm, I've been used before and I know what it feels like. And I can honestly say Damien is not using me. That's not trying to pump his head up, pump y'all head up, whatever y'all be coming up with. This is just me being real. And I think that he sees now that I never used him. Like we were just, uh, hopped into a relationship extremely fast, extremely fast, and we didn't get a chance to get to know each other. And then there was a baby, and then that was hectic. And you know, life happened, bring us back in each other's space, and I'm glad that it happened that way. So, anyways, um, I, again, once again, I just want to give you guys something. I'm like parked at it's a store with a Jack in a Box attached to it. And I'm about to go, y'all, I'm not going to lie, I'm about to go around here and get me a, a cup of ice. This will be my second cup of ice today. My doctor said it's completely healthy because my iron level is uh, very good. And I will definitely be crunching on me some ice and a fajita pita and maybe an egg roll, a egg roll. And, um... Yeah, but then again, I kind of want some fruit, y'all. I want some fruits. I, it's weird. Like, I want, like, a fruit and vegetable um, salad. It's weird. But, y'all, anyways, like, y'all know, I've been in the studio. Like I mentioned at the beginning of this video, I have a music video dropping in the next two or three weeks. Very, very, very excited. And I just feel like if I stay on this track, guys, like... If I really and truly stay on this positive track, like there's so many eyes that's watching me. Like I can't even explain to y'all what's really going on in my life right now because I don't even understand it. I just know that there's so many people that don't even really know what a YouTube is, but they're looking at me and they like, wow, like this girl really is like moving different. And so. Grammarly. I just want to say I'm looking at her and she um, appeared to how she used to let things on the internet bother you, which is completely understandable because the internet 
will tear you down. It's so many people that just come at you at once. It will definitely tear you down. And she didn't been through so much, so much hurt, so much, um, you know, she didn't been through a lot. I have been watching her for some time now. From the time when she first started doing videos for Mr. Cryer. And she's, you know, but that's, I feel like that's also coming from, you know, through everything that she been through. She never did give up. She kept pushing through. She didn't let the people that was calling her hoes and sluts and liars and she didn't let that get to her she kept going she might have took a break for a minute which sometimes you just gotta just step back for just a little bit to recoup and get your mind back to where it needs to be but she stepped back and she came back and she just kept going that's what you have to do like me right now i'm trying to get further than what i am right now right now um, I'm just really just here for entertainment, really, you know, right now. But I do, in the future, in the near future, I do look forward to doing bigger and better things um, while using this platform. So, you know, that's, you know, that's what it's really all about. You know, you have to use this platform. It's not, you know, who's to say it's going to be here for, you know, 15, 20, 25 more years. You know, we just don't, we just don't know. So while you got it, take advantage of it, you know, use it um, to make you and your family more wealthier. That's the reason why I can't give certain stuff my energy anymore like I wish I would have done this a long time ago no telling where I would be how far I would be so I'm going to continue on this path like the negative stuff don't it don't phase me like it, it used to phase me but I'm looking at the bigger picture I see where God is taking me and that's all that matters and so um God had to move some people out of my life. He had to uh, he had to place some people back in my life too. But he definitely had to move some people out of my life because, you know, y'all. So this morning I got up on Instagram and I was like, would you rather have loyalty or respect? So would you rather have loyalty or respect? And I asked that question because a lot of times loyalty run out. Like people are only going to be loyal uh, sometimes, sometimes, not everybody, because everybody is not the same, not everybody is out to get you, but in the world that we living in today, it's like everybody is out for something, for self, like you'll rarely find somebody that's genuine, I was basically asking my supporters, like, would, do you, do you want, would you prefer loyalty over respect, or would you prefer respect over loyalty, because, because I, Okay, so my response to her question, would you rather have loyalty over respect? I would say I would rather have respect. You know, respect is to me because, you know, like she say, people be loyal to you um, for long as it benefits them. And it's not everybody, major, but majority of people long as they're getting some out, something out of it, they'll be loyal. But as soon as you can't do what you've been, as soon as they can't get nothing out of it, their loyalty goes away. So I'd rather just have respect, like, you know, and that's even for me, like, I don't owe nobody loyalty. The only person I love, only people that I owe loyalty to is my husband and my children. That's it. Anybody else, because the thing is, people come and go out your life. So, you know, we live in a time where we just got to move along with the, you know, go along with it. So I'd rather just have respect over loyalty. I feel like loyalty has an expiration date. Anybody can be loyal, right? But if you find somebody that actually respects you, which means that if they respect you, they're not going to do anything intentionally to hurt you. If they do something to hurt you, that means that they're going to... Um, apologize for it try not to do it again and 
with respect comes loyalty but if you just find somebody that's just loyal to you it's gonna have an expiration date so leave me a yeah. comment in the comment section down below like would you prefer for somebody to respect you or would you prefer somebody to just be loyal to you i i want somebody that's gonna respect me because by default loyalty is gonna come and it's gonna stay but if you're just loyal to somebody you may have a little bit of respect for them but then once something happens and you lose respect for them you're not gonna be loyal no more so so yeah i'm about to go ahead and get my um jack in the box get in the house and stuff like that and i gotta get up early in the morning take him to school i love you guys don't forget to like comment and subscribe share this video on all your platforms click the link follow me on all my platforms and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Okay, so y'all, um, my reaction to this video is, you know, like I said, I've been um, watching Love by Erica for a long, long time now. And so I have seen her progression from her time when she first um, started to now. And, you know, at first I was like, you know, I couldn't figure out what she was doing. What is she doing? Like, what's her, what's her motive? Like, you know, I was, you know, I was just, you know, I couldn't understand, like, the situations that she was in. But, um, and now, watching her, and, you know, seeing how this all was already planned, you know, even though, you know, it, you know, something, you know, some of these might have broke her heart and gave her trust issues and stuff. But she turned out to blossom into God, who God really wants to be. And that's, you know, it's all about the 